In addition to disproportionate representation, Mary sees some other words in the subject list that may be worth using in future searches, such as disability identification, sex bias, or sex differences. She keeps track of these to use later. The terms in the subject list are assigned to this article by people who work as indexers. They assign only words and phrases that can be found in an official list of subject terms called the Eric Thesaurus. Once you have identified official subject terms, you can ask Eric to find only articles where the term appears in the list of subjects. Searching only in the list of subjects helps you find fewer articles that are more strongly about your topic. Now that she has identified some official subject words, Mary can do a search like this. Special education in the top box, males in the second row, and since Mary has identified both of these as official subject terms, she also changes where the database searches from anywhere to subject heading. Mary adds a third row where she can now add words she found for that idea of too many. Here she enters some alternate terms using or. Disproportionate representation or overrepresentation or overrepresentation again, this time without the hyphen since she saw it spelled two different ways. However, she keeps this third line on anywhere. Although disproportionate representation is an official subject term, she only saw the word overrepresentation in titles and abstracts. Since some of the words on this third line are not official subject terms, she leaves the third line set to search anywhere so it can find those words in titles and abstracts. Now she gets a short list of articles that are strongly about her topic, such as this article on gender bias and special ed referrals.